Hi students, happy friendship day all of you students. Today is a friendship day. My dear students, bacho, all of you happy friendship day. And today's topic is adrenal gland disorders. In the previous occasion, we have already discussed what is a adrenal gland, which consists of outer adrenal cortex and inner adrenal medulla lobe. We have already discussed. And today we will be discussing the disorders of adrenal gland. Okay. That is precisely the disorders of adrenal cortex we will be discussing now. Disorders of adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex is the outer part and contains three zones I told you. Zona, what is the code you remember here? GFR, isn't it? Zona glomerulosa. Zona fasciculata. And zona reticularis. Reticularis, isn't it? Glomerulosa. All these are releases of corticoids, isn't it? Corticoids means steroid hormones I discussed already, isn't it? So the glomerulosa releases the mineral of corticoids. The chief mineral corticoid is the aldosterone. Fasciculata releases the glucocorticoids. The chief one is a cortisol and cortisol. Cortisol, for example. Cortisol is a chief glucocorticoid. And reticularis releases the sex corticoids. Sex corticoids. So let's discuss first of all the glomerosa and fasciculata, which releases the mineral corticoids here. The chief glucocorticoid is the aldosterone and glucocorticoid, the chief glucocorticoid is a cortisol and cortisol. So we are confined here to the disorders now, not is an explanation, isn't it? Because explanation of this adrenal gland cortex is already done. So today the explanation is confined to disorders of this one here. Okay, students. Now here, if the over secretion, over secretion means hyper secretion one side of a one type of disorder if there is a under secretion under secretion or hypo secretion sudden type of disorder that is if the aldosterone or cortisol is overly secreted a sudden type of disorder if the aldosterone and cortisol are under secreted more than, sorry less than the normal quantities it is called as a under secretion or hypo secretion this one is a disorder this one is also a disorder that is a adrenal gland disorder either because of the over secretion or under secretion over secretion means hyper secretion under secretion means hypo secretion the over secretion of Okay, hormones called as cortisol and aldosterone causes a disease called as Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome. And under secretion or hypo secretion causes the disease called as Addison's disease. Addison's disease. So over secretion or hyper secretion of aldosterone and cortisol causes which one? the Cushing's disease and under secretion that is lesser than the normal quantities under secretion means lesser than the normal quantities causes the disease called as Addison's disease here so let's discuss first of all Cushing's disease or syndrome then we'll be discussing Addison's disease okay students so Cushing's syndrome let's discuss now So first of all, Cushing syndrome. Cushing's syndrome. It's because of the over secretion. 
ऑफ कॉर्टिसोल एंड ऑल्डोस्टेर हाइपर सिक्रेशन और ओवर सिक्रेशन मीन्स मोर देन नॉर्मल क्वांटिटीज इज कॉल्ड एज ओवर सिक्रेशन और हाइपर सिक्रेशन ओके स्टूडेंट्स Now, why there is a over secretion? What is the reason for this over secretion of cortisol and aldosterone? Because the master endocrine gland. What is that? All of you type in the comment box below first. What is the master endocrine gland? Or as pituitary gland. The master endocrine gland. It releases the hormone called as ACTH. What is the ACTH hormone? What is the full form of ACTH? All of you type in the comment box video, but yeah, but so fast, all of you. ACTH stands for adrenocorticotrophic hormone released by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. Is that right? What is the function of ACTH? It is stimulates the adrenal cortex. Adrenal cortex. So that adrenal cortex releases which one? Corticoid hormones. Corticoid hormones or steroid hormones. Which are released by the adrenal cortex. So, what are the corticoid hormones? Cortisol, aldosterone, and six corticoids, etc. Are the corticoid hormones released by the adrenal cortex. But because of the tumor formation here, tumor formation in the pituitary gland, over secretion here, over secretion of which one? Over this is the over secretion of ACTH. More than normal quantities. If the over secretion of ACTH, which is released to the blood, now to the blood ACTH reaches which one? Adrenal cortex receptors and over stimulation of adrenal cortex, so that more quantities of corticoids here. Which corticoids here? The cortisol and aldosterone are released here. Aldosterone are released. More than normal quantities which are released to the blood. That is one of the reason because the tumor. This is the first reason, bacho. Tumor formation in the pituitary gland. That is the first reason because the which over secretion of ACTH, over stimulation of adrenal cortex, so that more cortisol is released here and more aldosterone is released here. That is one of the reason for Cushing syndrome. The second reason is the tumor formation. So all of you right. Tumor formation in adrenal gland directly. Adrenal gland. The tumor formation in the adrenal gland. So that more seek release of which one? Cortisol and aldosterone. More release of cortisol and aldosterone because of the tumor formation in the adrenal gland. This is our second reason. These are the Natural reasons in the body, internal causes here, and this, for example, this one is the internal cause. Let us say here, these are the internal body causes here, internal, and next one is the external causes are also there. External causes, external means outside causes are also there. Okay, what is that? Let's discuss now. The patient, if a few patients may be undergoing the glucocorticoid therapy. This is a very important repeat of you. All of you write first. Glucocorticoid therapy. The patient who is undergoing the glucocorticoid therapy. For example, who is undergoing the uh, glucocorticoid therapy means a person who has uh, taken the tissues or organs from the other person here. That is during the tissue replacement. That is the patient who is a recipient of organs. Or tissues from some other that is doing the organ transplantation. This patient, because he is receiving the tissues or organs from some other person, and this patient's immune system treats these tissues or organs as the foreign bodies. That is antigens. That's why this patient has to undergo which treatment? Glucocorticoid tre treatment. Glucocorticoid treatment. Glucocorticoid treatments means excess of glucocorticoids are present in this patient's blood. That's why in such cases, this patient may be developing the Cushing syndrome symptoms. This is the 
external cause and these are the internal causes of the Cushing syndrome. In either case, there is an over secretion of or over release of cortisol and aldosterone. Okay, students. Now, what are the symptoms of Cushing syndrome? Let's discuss now. What are the symptoms? Symptoms of Cushing syndrome. <coughs> Yes, what are the symptoms of Cushing syndrome? Let's discuss now. Before discussing symptoms, let's have a uh, mere glance of the function of cortisol. Cortisol is a chief glucocorticoid, which I already explained, isn't it? What is the role of cortisol? It's a stress combat hormone. Stress combat hormone. That is, it's released during the stress. When there is an examination tension or result tension, which is experienced by this bacho, isn't it? The cortisol level is enhanced in your blood to deal with the stress. What happens during the stress? We have already discussed. Increased levels of heartbeat, heartbeat, blood pressure, isn't it? More breathing, etc. Here, yeah, more sweating, of course sweating etc are the stress uh, symptoms because the increase of cortisol during the stress this is a normal during the normal situations once the stress is gone there is a decrease in the levels of cortisol everything is normal equilibrium is maintained but during the Cushing syndrome there is an over release of cortisol because of the hyper secretion or over secretion there is an increased release of cortisol in the blood what happens there there is a stimulus. This is a normal heartbeat, for example. This is a normal heartbeat, but this is the increased heartbeat here. This is a normal BP, increased BP. Normal breathing, increased breathing here. Normal sweating, increased sweating here like this. That is, more than normal quantity is the patient response to the stress. Why? Because more release of cortisol into the blood. More than normal quantities is raised here. And cortisol is a stress combat hormone. Over response to the stress for the Cushing syndrome patient. So what is the first symptom? Over response. Over response to the stress. Over response to the stress. That is the first symptom of Cushing syndrome. Bacho. And increased levels. That is hyper okay, secretion of cortisol also leads to the enhancement of the heartbeat that is cardiac output more cardiac output cardiac output is increased more heartbeat more blood pressure that is hypertension blood pressure is increased more breathing more breathing that is more oxygen more oxygen means more oxygen must be supplied to each one's cells. That is why more hemopoiesis. More hemopoiesis. What is hemopoiesis? More production of RBC by the red bone marrow. Which one is stimulating this one? The erythropoietin hormone, which is released by the JG cells of the kidney. So more release of erythropoietin, more hemopoiesis, that is red bone marrow is stimulated. We have already discussed this one, isn't it? So more hemopoiesis means more release of here, first of all, more release of here, erythropoietin. More erythropoietin by the JG cells of kidney. JG cells of kidney, more erythropoietin stimulates the red bone marrow. More erythropoiesis. More erythropoiesis means more production of RBC. More RBC means more hemoglobin. More oxygen, more breathing is there. That is more oxygen binds with the hemoglobin to form which one? Oxyhemoglobin to be supplied to the cells. Why this happens, Bacho? See here, it's a very simple, all of you see here. 
what I told you, over response to the stress. What is required for the stress? You require more energy, isn't it? To deal with the stress, what is required? You require more energy. That's it. You take a cell, but all of you. Body cell. Where from energy is coming? The energy is released by the mitochondria, isn't it? And what is which one? It requires which one? Glucose plus oxygen, of course, water. That is glucose molecules required. Oxygen is also required. That is why more breathing. More breathing and oxygen must be supplied to the cells. Which one is supplied to the cells? It's a hemoglobin. Oxygen binds with the hemoglobin to form the oxyhemoglobin. In this way, more production of hemoglobin means more RBC production. Just to explain you. And along with this oxygen, what is also required? Glucose is required. Only then, glucose is degraded, destroyed. And oxidation of the glucose molecule occurs in the mitochondria so that more energy is released in the form of ATP here. For this one, more glucose is also required. Which one is supplying the glucose? Liver. That is, the glycogen is converted into which one? Glucose. Glycogen converted into the glucose. That is, increased levels of glucose in the blood. And it is medically called as hyperglycemia. Hyper Glycemia. What is hyperglycemia? Enhancement. Elevated levels of glucose in the blood is called as hyperglycemia. Is also a symptom under the Cushing's syndrome. Bacho. Okay, students, so of you. It's very simple, bacho. See here. Okay, this is done here. Next one. Okay, I'm ready here. The space is not adjusted. So, more elevated level of glucose in the blood is called as hyperglycemia. If glucose glycogen levels are not sufficient, then the body falls on which one? The proteins. The proteins are broken down. The breakdown of muscle proteins. Next point is breakdown of muscle proteins. Next one is Redistribution of body fats. Redistribution of body fats. Okay. In order to convert them into which one? Glucose again. Because anyway, there should be elevated levels of glucose in the blood. For which the glycogen molecules are broken down into glucose. And also breakdown of muscle proteins into glucose. Redistribution of body flags so that the glucose molecules are formed so that there is an elevated levels of glucose in the blood and the medical condition is called as hyperglycemia so that more glucose is supplied here. You're following? That's so that the body cells are taking more glucose in the presence of oxygen. There is an oxidation of glucose molecule in order to release the energy in the form of ATP in order to deal with the stress because there is an over response to the stress for this patient here for the pushing syndrome get your point that's why more bp here more bp is also attributed to the elevated levels of which one aldosterone i told you that aldosterone is also released there is an elevated levels of not only cortisol but also elevated levels of which one aldosterone what's the function of aldosterone to reabsorb the sodium from the renal filtrate into the interstitium. Because of this, what happens? There is an elevated levels of sodium in the blood. When the sodium quantities are increased in the blood, there is an increase of blood pressure. That is also one of the symptoms of Cushing syndrome patient. So what is that? Over response to the stress, increased heartbeat, cardiac output, more blood pressure, okay, more breathing, more hemopoiesis, hyperglycemia. Sixth one is the hyperglycemia here. And because of hyperglycemia, what is manifested here? Breakdown of muscle proteins and redistribution of body fats are the characteristic symptoms of the Cushing syndrome. Okay, students. Now, because of the breakdown of muscle proteins and redistribution of body fats, there is a BMP. Very important bit, BMP. What is BMP? Best Member of Parliament. Best Member of Parliament. <laughs> Don't get lost here. 
B L P here. That is a quote to remember here, which stands for best member of parliament here. B stands for buffalo hump. Buffalo hump. And M stands for moon face. M stands for moon face. And P stands for pendulous abdomen. Pendulous abdomen. Okay. Because of the breakdown of muscle proteins and redistribution of body fats, there are the three symptoms here. What is that? What is the buffalo hump? What is buffalo hump is in the back between the two shoulders? The back. In the back region, there is a hump like structure like this in the back. For example, this is the back between the shoulders. There is a hump. That is the fat gets deposited in, in this way here. There is a because of the redistribution of body fat, there is a buffalo hump. The face becomes rounded that is just like a moon so moon face and pendulous abdomen that is hanging abdomen hanging abdomen means here the it is just swinging here like this here so that is called as pendulous abdomen just like the pendulum of the clock okay so these are the characteristic symptom of which one cushing syndrome it's a very very important little bit here okay take a note of this one okay students and also the second next seventh symptom is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is also a symptom of Cushing syndrome. What is osteoporosis? The bones develop some pores. Porosis means the development of pores, whole like structures in the bone because of which the bones become brittle and subjected to easy fractures. That is osteoporosis here. This is also one of the symptoms of Cushing syndrome. Now, next symptom, eighth symptom here. Flushed face. Flushed face. What is flushed face? The face becomes reddish. That's called as flush face. The face becomes reddish. Next one, development of the stretch marks. Stretch marks on abdomen. Stretch marks on abdomen. That is also one of the symptoms here. And next one is most important factor here because there is an elevated levels of which one? Stress hormone called as cortisol. Whenever the stress is increased, the cortisol is released so that the immunity is lessened. So lessened immunity. Lessened immune responses. Lessened immune responses. Because of which the patient is susceptible to easy infections, viral infections. So don't be stressful. Always be confident. Even during this pandemic situation, Pacho. Don't be stressful. Take care of yourself. Don't go outside. But don't be stressful. Because if you are stressful, there is an elevated levels of cortisol. Which is, in this case, the patient, the Cushing syndrome patient is subjected to easy, okay, infections. Susceptible to easy infections because of the lesser immunity, because of the influence of cortisol. So, wound healing is poor. The wound healing is very poor here. Wound healing is very poor here. And because of the hyperglycemia, okay, BMP factors, there is a rapid gain of weight. BMP factors, that is buffalo hump, isn't it? That's what I told you, etc. Pendulous abdomen, isn't it? Etc. There is a rapid gain of weight. Rapid gain of weight here. So these are the symptoms of each one. The Cushing's syndrome. Cushing syndrome is because of the increased levels of cortisol and the aldosterone. That is hypersecretion of these hormones here. Now let's discuss the hyposecretion. Hyposecretion means under secretion. Okay. And that causes a disease called as which one? Addison's disease. What is that? Addison's disease here. So what is the Addison's disease? All of you type in the comment box below. All of you pause them up.
So now addition species. is because of the under secretion or hypo secretion of cortisol and aldosterone aldosterone why what's the reason there is a underlying reason you have to remember that addison's disease in most of the cases is an autoimmune disorder very important point Addison's disease in most of the cases is an autoimmune disorder. What is an autoimmune disorder? In the previous case, I already explained one of the bioprep videos, isn't it? So, no need to explain here again. Autoimmune disorder, just in one sentence, the body's antibodies turn against the person himself here. Actually, antibodies are supposed to protect the person. But in certain cases, what has autoimmune disorder, very rare case, the person's antibody turns against the person himself here. That's what has autoimmune disorder. So actually, I told you that the anterior lobe of pituitary gland releases which one? The ACTH hormone, adrenocorticotrophic hormone. Then ACTH binds with the receptors of which one? Adrenal cortex. For example, this is the adrenal cortex. It contains a receptor here like this. This is the adrenal cortex, for example. And this is the receptor. So ACTH hormone released with the anterior pituitary gland into the blood. Through the blood, it reaches which one? Adrenal cortex receptors here. And for example, this is the ACTH here. What is this one? ACTH binds with the receptor present on the adrenal cortex. So that the adrenal cortex release which means which one? Corticoid hormones. This is the normal setup. This is the normal setup. But remember students, all of you my dear students. In certain cases, the antibody occupies this receptor. Bodies, that is person's antibody occupies this receptor here. For example, this is the antibody. Antibodies binds with the receptor here but the ACTH is released normally through the blood is coming but has to get bounded but where actually it is already occupied by which one antibodies so where should this ACTH bind that's why the ACTH is not binding with the receptor when the ACTH is not binding with the receptor how can it stimulate? So there is no stimulation. The ACTH is not stimulating the adrenal cortex because this receptor is already occupied with antibodies. In this way, the person's antibodies are turning himself or herself. That's why the adrenal cortex is not stimulated. When the adrenal cortex is not stimulated, there is no release of corticoid hormones. That is, there is no release of which one or under release. Lesser bodies, even if released, under secretion of which one or hypo secretion of these corticoid hormones, called as cortisol and aldosterone, because of which the Addison's disease develop here. That is the reason because of the Addison's disease here. Okay, students. Now, what is symptoms of Addison's disease? Let's discuss now. So we can say that Addison's disease is an autoimmune disorder. But you have to remember that the great president of USA, John F. Kennedy, you know of him, John F. Kennedy, he is one of the victim of Addison's disease. All of you comment box, uh, put in the comment box below who is the Amer American president who is uh, the victim of Addison's disease. All of you type fast, John F. Kennedy. So because of the under secretion of cortisol and aldosterone, what happens? Let's discuss now what are the symptoms of this one here. Okay, students. So less response to the stress. First of all, the less response to the stress. Why? Because cortisol is a stress combat hormone, isn't it? But here, 
द कॉपीसोल इज लेस एंड लेस एंड सीक्रेशन ऑफ कॉपीसोल दैट इज वाई द लेस एंड रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल टू द स्ट्रेस बर्वन है इसको इज इट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द लेस रेस्पॉन्स टू द स्ट्रेस वॉट आर पेल्स द बॉडी सेल्स आर टेकिंग वेरी लेस क्वांटिटीज ऑफ ग्लूकोज बिकॉज देर इज मोर रेस्पॉन्स टू स्ट्रेस That is why the body cells take very less quantities of glucose. So what happens? The blood glucose levels are decreased. Blood glucose levels are decreased because of the influence of which one? Less sand secretion of cortisol. Blood glucose levels are decreased. Exactly opposite to this one of which one? Cushing syndrome. Exactly opposite symptoms are present in Addison's disease when compared to Cushing syndrome. Here, in the Cushing syndrome, the blood glucose levels are increased because of elevated levels of cortisol, but here decreased. And this condition is medically called as hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia. Yeah. And the body cells take very less quantities of glucose, but shown. Okay, students. Next one is. That's why here there is no redistribution of body fat. There is no breakdown of muscle proteins is not observed here. That is why BMP symptoms are not present here. They are present only in the Cushing syndrome. Okay, sir. Now here, in the case of Cushing syndrome, rapid gain of weight, but here rapid loss of weight. Rapid loss of weight, body weight here, and there is a development of hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation of the skin. The skin shows more body pigmentation. The skin becomes dark colored, just like a bronze color. That is what observed in even J. F. Kennedy. Bronze. The skin has become bronze colored because of the hyper pigmentation under the influence of Addison's disease. Okay, loss of weight, blood glucose levels are decreased here, called as hypoglycemia. You know, also decreased levels of oxygen consumption. Less sweat. All these are also manifested under which one? The Addison's disease. It's an autoimmune disorder. Okay, students, okay. So these are the various disorders. Now let's discuss the sex corticoid disorders here. Sex corticoid disorders. One of the sex corticoid disorder. Sex corticoid disorder. One of the very common sex corticoid disorder is. Adrenal viralism. Adrenal, of course, this is not given in NCERT. Adrenal viralism. What is adrenal viralism means? The male sex hormones called as androgens are increased in quantities in the females. For example, the females actually lessen quantities of androgens, but in certain cases of adrenal viralism. There is a over secretion of androgens in the females. Actually, androgens are the male sex hormones. These male sex hormones, called as androgens, they bring the male secondary sexual characters. Okay, there is a development of beard, moustache, etc. The male secondary sexual characters, but these under the influence of androgens in the females, the females develop the moustache, beard, and also there is an irregular menstrual cycle. And sometimes there is totally absence of menstrual cycle, called as amenorrhea. Amenorrhea. And there is a decrease in the size of breasts. Okay, and various other characters, male characteristics appear in the female because of the influence of which one? Androgens, elevated levels of androgens, and that's called as adrenal viralism. Here, bachcha. Hope you enjoyed my session, all of you, bachcha. That's all for today. Bye, students, all of you.